Okay, so I'm just going to take you through a Riverford recipe box recipe. Uh, if you've never had a recipe box before and wonder how they work, then this is a good way to see it. Uh, or if you're looking for some ideas for different curries, then uh, this is a great recipe from a recent Hemsley and Hemsley recipe box that we did. Okay, so when you get your box, you'll find all the ingredients with the three different compartments and all your recipes in there as well. Uh, some chilled packaging where like the uh, lamb went for this curry, for example, and any other chilled ingredients that you have. Uh, so here are all the, recipe, the ingredients laid out for this recipe. Uh, and you can see the recipe card as well. So we've got the cumin, coriander, turmeric, uh, cinnamon, uh, cardamom pods, black mustard seeds, cayenne pepper, one large onion. Then you've got the coconut oil, garlic cloves, diced lamb, tin of chopped tomatoes, half a pack of the Riverford chicken stock. We use the other half pack for a different recipe. Two large carrots, a bag of kale, uh, then one small cauliflower for the rice and uh, one lemon. Okay, so the first thing that we did we toasted the dry spices in the pan for about 30 seconds before uh, dicing the onion that was going in for the base of the sauce. And then we mixed that with the spices and the coconut oil and we cooked that in a low heat for about eight minutes. Then while that was uh, going on, we diced the garlic, crushed the cardamom pods, uh, added that to the onions and the spice mix, and then cooked that for about a further minute just to soften the garlic before adding the lamb which we browned for about two minutes before we added the uh, chicken stock and the tin of tomatoes and covered that and simmered for about 30 minutes. Uh, while that was happening, we chopped the carrots and the kale. And then we added that. So after 30 minutes, we added the carrots and the kale to the recipe, which added great texture and then cooked for a further 15 minutes which was pretty much the curry done. Uh, in the meantime, we grated the cauliflower with a food processor and then cooked in a little bit of the coconut oil that was left and a little bit of water. And that was for about four to six minutes before it was just right. And then we served the curry on top of the cauliflower rice. And yeah, it was really delicious curry made from scratch using the Riverford recipe box and there was nothing left at the end. So that's one of our recipes in a nutshell.